You may have noticed these big round speleothems throughout the cave. These are called cave shields, and Lehman Caves contains over 500 of them. Although cave shield development is still puzzling, it is hypothesized that cave shields form as extensions of joints or cracks in the floor, wall, and ceiling. The process begins when calcite-rich water under hydrostatic pressure moves through the joints within the bedrock. Once the water exits the joint, it loses carbon dioxide to the cave chamber and precipitates calcite on either side of the joint. This builds plates of concentrically layered calcite separated by a thin, hair-sized crack called the medial crack. Shields grow bigger as more calcite is deposited on the outer rims of the disks. As you can imagine, this almost 10-foot wide cave shield took an extremely long time to grow. A large portion of the lower plate has fallen away and allows us to see inside of its medial crack. The wiggly lines on it are indicators of the various water levels in the medial crack during the shield's formation. How many cave shields have you seen during this virtual cave tour?